Welcome to the Welling Technocrat YouTube channel. In the summary of changes for ASME boiler and pressure vessel code, section 2C, specification for welding rod, electrodes, and filament metal, edition 2021, there is a major change. A whole new SFN number has been added. It is SFA 5.39. SFA 5.39 is specification for flux and electrode combinations for submerged arc and electroslag joining and surfacing of stainless steel and nickel alloys. Caution! For all the equipment designed as per 2021 edition, with the addition of new SFA 5.39, all the old WPS of stainless steel and nickel alloy for submerged arc welding and electro slag welding process may have to be revised with addition of new SFN number. Also, new technical specification requirements may have to be given and new consumable TC may have to be prepared by the manufacturer. Here you can see the designator for SW flux electrode combination. By the end of this video, we'll be able to understand and decipher the designator constituting the flux electrode classification. Let us now understand the newly added SFL number 5.39, a specification of flux and electrode combinations for SW and ESW joining and surfacing of stainless steel and nickel alloys. For understanding the designators constituting the flux electrode classification, there are four tables given in SFA 5.39. These tables are essential to decipher the designator. Table 1 is about tension test requirements. Table 2 is about Charpy impact toughness requirements. Table 3 is about chemical composition requirements for well metal. And table 8 is about the preheat and interpass temperatures and post well heat treatment conditions. Table 1 gives details about the tension test requirements. F is followed by a 3 digit number. The 3 digit number indicates the tensile strength requirement. The number 430 indicates that it meets the tensile strength requirement of 430 megapascal. Well metal from a specific flux electric combination that meets a high tensile strength requirement also meets the requirements of all the lower strength in the table. For example, well metal meeting the F590 requirement also meets the requirements for the designator with lower strength. Table 2 gives details about the Charpy impact toughness requirements. Up to 100 degrees Celsius, there is only a requirement of minimum average energy of 27 joules and there is no requirements regarding minimum lateral expansion. Y shows that the maximum test temperature of plus 20 degrees Celsius shall fulfill the requirement of minimum average energy of 27 joules. Zero shows the fulfillment of the requirement of zero degrees Celsius. Similarly, two indicates a test temperature of minus 20, three indicates minus 30 and so on. Impact designator 20 indicates that the test temperature of minus 196 and it fulfills the minimum lateral expansion of 0.3. 8 mm requirement. Impact designator Z indicates that there is no requirement of impact or lateral expansion. Table 8 shows the preheat and interpass temperatures and post well heat treatment conditions. It has given specific post well heat treatment for each designator 410 and 420 indicates PWHTS 730 to 760 degrees Celsius, 410 NIMO at 595 to 620 degrees Celsius, 490 NB 
430 430 NB at 760 to 790 degrees Celsius 630 at 1025 to 1050 degrees Celsius for all the others PWHT at 595 degrees Celsius to 620 degrees Celsius PWHT is recommended there are AWS specification of the electrode for stainless steel and nickel alloys helpful for us. AWS 5.9 is for solid and stranded stainless steel electrodes. AWS 5.14 is for solid and stranded nickel alloy electrodes. AWS 5.22 is about cold stainless steel electrodes and AWS 5.34 is about cold nickel alloy electrodes. Table 3 gives details about chemical composition requirement for well metal. Against each well metal designator for each specific element, there is a weight percentage, minimum and maximum requirements which are to be fulfilled. Let us understand the designators constituting the flux electrode classification. For SFA 5.39, specification for flux and electrode combinations for submerged arc and electroslag joining and surfacing of stainless steel and nickel alloys. We have a designator F which indicates a submerged arc flux. After this, we have a three number designator which indicates the minimum tensile strength of well metal deposited with flux electrode combination. These details are given in SFA 5.39 table 1. After that we have an alphabetic designator which indicates the condition of the heat treatment in which the tests were conducted. A indicates as welded condition, P indicates post welded heat treated condition. Table 8 in SFA 5.39 gives detail about this. After this, we have a numeric designator. This number indicates the temperature in degree Celsius at or above which the impact energy of the well metal meets or exceeds 27 joules and 0.38 mm lateral expansion in the case of the designator 20. The details about impact test requirements are given in SFA 5.39 Table 2. After this, we have a designator starting with E and following the details about the classification of the electrode used in producing the well metal. These designators are from the AWS classification. SFA 5.9, SFA 5.14, SFA 5.22, SFA 5.34. After this, we have some numeric designator which indicates the chemical composition of the well metal obtained with the combination of the flux and electrode. These chemical composition details are given in Table 3 of SFA 5.39. Let us take an example of flux electrode designator. Here we can see that F indicates submerged arc flux, 490 indicates minimum tensile strength of 490 megapascal, which has been fulfilled by the well metal deposited with flux electrode combination. A indicates the as welded condition of heat treatment in which the tests were conducted. 20 indicates minus 196 degrees Celsius test temperature at or above which the impact energy of well metal meets or exceeds 27 joules and 0.28 lateral expansion. EO308L shows the solid bare pillar metal classification 5.9 for solid and strength stainless steel electrode used in producing the well metal. 308L indicates the chemical composition of well metal obtained with this combination of flux and electrodes. Let us see what changes are there in the designator when the minimum tensile strength requirement changes. 
we have reached to the end of this video and now on whenever you see a designator for SW flux electrode you will be able to decipher it and each alphabet and numeric for this flux electrode classification will now make sense to you happy welding thank you for watching kindly like the video and subscribe the youtube channel push the bell notification for new welding related videos share the video with welders welding foremen welding engineers and welding enthusiasts thank you again